A government plan to criminalize unregistered Peruvian miners has made these people so angry they marched on Congress. There have been days of demonstrations in the capital, Lima, by miners who are about to be hit by a new law. But things turned violent on Monday. They fought against police who used tear gas against them. Many protesters came prepared, protected with helmets and scarves. But some other people were more vulnerable and were injured in the fighting. Under the new legislation, 70,000 small-scale miners have until April 19 to register and to meet new industry-wide standards. They say the process is too difficult. We are demanding laws that are clearer, more transparent, so that we can formalize ourselves. But unfortunately, this government hasn't given us the necessary tools to follow the steps. Protesters marched in other parts of Peru on Sunday and were then chased away by riot police. A nationwide strike last year began when police destroyed equipment used by miners working illegally in protected areas. The government says the new rules are intended to stop people destroying parts of the Amazon rainforest. But it's also a large part of the black economy in Peru. Exports from illegal mining are worth about $2 billion a year. Miners accuse the government of protecting big business. The government is all for big transnational companies and what conditions have they put in place for these big national hoarders with the great number of complaints against them? If protesters can't get the government to change its mind, then within a matter of weeks their livelihoods may well land them in prison. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.